Hey there, Minecraft lovers! My name is Simap, and today I've got a new creation for you. It adds a stereo in vanilla Minecraft. So I guess we can get started. Alright, if you want to add this command into your Minecraft board, you need to do the following. Give yourself a command block using this command slash give at b command underscore. Block hit enter on your keyboard and you'll get this block. Place it down, open it and copy and paste the command that you'll find on my website right in here. There we go. With Ctrl V, then click this button, then done and voila, the machine will be assembled. Uh, now that we got that installed, I can actually show you what this command introduces to Minecraft. So we have to first take a jukebox together with 10 pieces of redstone. There we go, we can drop them together on the ground to get ourselves the stereo. So let's go ahead and just place it right here in this modern house. I think it will fit the theme perfectly together with my computer, my Apple uh, MacBook, my printer which I have created in my previous videos. So I can finally put the stereo here. There we go in all its glory. I mean guys this is probably one of the best models I've ever created. Um, it's not something complicated made out of many armor stands. As you can see, you don't even need many of them, uh, but it's something I really love. I designed the textures myself, I'll just leave some screenshots that I have posted on my Twitter if you're just curious to see like the behind the scenes of my work, you can follow me there and I'll be sure to post more of these behind the scenes things. So as you can see, here we have mm, some buttons. Um, other buttons, random stuff, and here, right here, we have the uh, kind of opening where we will put our disc. We're still in Minecraft and we don't have CDs yet to use the old disc. So let's take some of them, I guess. It works with every single disc, uh, so no matter which one you take, it will work just fine. Oh, and we have this really big speakers which will give us an advantage but we'll see that later. In order to actually use the stereo uh, we'll need to right click on this part of the stereo right here where you see this gap. Just right click and it will place uh, the disc right here, it will say under here now playing and the name of the disc. Oh this is creepy, <laughs> let's right click on this button again to take the disc off. So let me just remove that awful scoreboard from the sidebar. There we go. Um, so let's choose another one. This one was really creepy. Yeah, this one. So let's just right click here. And you'll see it said at the bottom of the screen now playing Strad, which is the name of the disc. And you'll also see these nice animations of these waves, which are representing the music playing. It also generates these nice particles, which overall make this river look really nice. I mean, look at this in your living room, it will make your friends be just like, wow, that's, that's an awesome stereo, I would love to have that in my home. Uh, when you take the disc off, um, the sound will stop playing, these waves will not move anymore, and the particles will not be generated as well. Uh, so let's just try some different discs. There we go. Actually, a lot of players complain about the music in Minecraft, but after making this command, I found out that the music, there's nothing wrong with the music. I mean, it's not something I would listen to uh, every time of the day, but it's just fine. There's nothing horrible or... Dun, 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 dun. I mean, you could host a party um, and make everyone dance 
with this stereo. And the actual use of this stereo um, is the main difference between a stereo and a jukebox is this. If you place a disc in the jukebox, oh, I already had one inside, but if you place it, you'll see the same song play. But if you go pretty far from the jukebox, you'll see that that sound is not playing anymore because you're too far from the jukebox. So when you go back, you'll be able to hear it again. So let's break this one and let's just use with the same exact disc, the stereo. The song is the same and when I go far, I can go even far and still be able to hear the stereo. Okay, let's stop this music actually. So now I'm going to show you that I've actually added some extra music which you will not find in the creative inventory. So we got a solo piano music and a music that I call classic, but it's just a melody which is inside Minecraft, but it's basically played under the music section which almost everyone turns off. Uh, you'll need to do the following. Uh, grab yourself an anvil, place it down, take a disc, no matter which one you take, uh, it will work just fine. Um, then you place it down, you rename the first one piano, just like this, and the second one uh, will be um, classic. There we go, once you place them in the stereo, you'll see now it's playing. Uh, it will take a while actually because of how the uh, sound files are made, but if you listen carefully, So if you love piano music, you can now listen to piano in your living room while you're working with your computer or something else. So let's remove this one and try the other one, the classic. As you can see, it's a different music that we don't have in the discs, um, in any of these discs. Uh, it's kinda creepy, this one, so I'm just going to play this one. Anyways, if you want to get rid of the stereo, you will need to break the block underneath. You will get, of course, the spawn egg back. Okay, so I hope you liked this creation. I know it wasn't a big creation, but I think it's a really nice addition to your living room um, And it also has a useful use So that was it about this command. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye